Tetrahedron is a plugin for Unreal Engine 5 that adds logic for runtime placement and destruction of adjacent static meshes in the shape of a specific triangular pyramid, where each face is an equilateral triangle. The plugin was developed using C++, but no programming knowledge is required from the user. It supports multiple different size tetrahedrons in the same level. The plugin also includes a simple serialization tool for saving some more complex shapes and loading them to levels in editor. Additionally, it has independent support for both online multiplayer and single player games. It means that in case you are making a single player game, you will use a version with no unnecessary netcode. If you want to use a mechanic for building 3D shapes out of tetrahedrons or destroying them in your upcoming project, this plugin might be for you. If you want to jump right in and test the functionality, there are some examples included. Check out the Maps folder and then a respective subfolder for a multiplayer or a single player game. You should be able to start the game and try out the mechanism right away. Main functionality of the plugin is included in a C++ component, Net Tetrahedron Builder component for multiplayer, or just Tetrahedron Builder component for single player games. If you want to add the functionality of building and destroying tetrahedrons to your pawn, just add this component. This component supplies all required functions and exposes them to blueprints. If your pawn is a first person character, or has a crosshair in the middle of the screen, then you can just use build tetrahedron at target and destroy tetrahedron at target functions. You can manage the interaction range by modifying an exposed property. If that does not suit you, you can also detect tetrahedrons in a custom way. You just have to supply a hit result as an input. In that case, you will want to use server build tetrahedron from hit result and server destroy tetrahedron from hit result in a multiplayer game, or build tetrahedron from hit result and destroy tetrahedron from hit result in a single player game. Now that you added a builder component to your pawn, you can place an integrated tetrahedron actor in your level. In the blueprints folder, there are some ready to go. Just place one from the appropriate multiplayer or single player subfolder. This setup already covers the most basic use case for the plugin. However, if you want to add some pre built shapes to your levels, there is a simple serialization tool included. As I mentioned earlier, the plugin includes a serialization tool for designing pre built shapes that you can then import to levels. This is done through a simple string based system. First, you must build a shape at runtime, then generate a string that will be logged in the output log, and then you can copy the string and paste it in a BP underscore tetrahedron serializer object to import the shape to any level. Generation of the string is done through a function in the tetrahedron builder component, log string for tetrahedrons like target. In the provided BP underscore tetrahedron pawn, it is bound to input from number 1 on the keyboard. As mentioned earlier, loading of the string is done through BP underscore tetrahedron serializer. There is an instance exposed property load source string, where you must paste the generated string. Then you just need to click the load tetrahedrons from string button. Now keep in mind that the function generating the string gathers all other tetrahedrons in the level of the same class as the targeted one. This means that if you are making a single shape, Remember to remove all redundant tetrahedrons. The plugin includes a map just for this purpose called L underscore tetrahedron level design, where you can jump in, make a shape, and then safely generate an import string. It has been set up to use included tetrahedron pawn, so that you can just click play and start building. Okay, so now I'll just uh, quickly go through every component in the plugin uh, so that you know exactly uh, what's inside it. So let's start with blueprints. Uh, here we've got the uh, HUD. It's just a basic HUD with, uh, that adds the crosshair in the middle. Um, here we've got the serializer class that was explained before. Mm, now we've got online multiplayer folder. So here we've got the uh, net tetrahedron. And um, here the only important part is uh, this uh, replicates property that this has to be true. This is uh, obviously true by default, but uh, if you want to make your own uh, networked tetrahedron based on this class, uh, then just remember to tick this. Okay, and now we've got game mode. So this is just 
um, just for demonstration purposes so that your maps work uh, out of the box. You don't have to use this in your project, obviously. Um, so yeah, th this just has a HUD override and the pawn override. So now we can go uh, to the pawn class. So I showed this before. The only important part is this component. So this is um, the core part of the plugin uh, that you will use on your pawn. And here are the settings. Uh, every every setting has uh, a extensive description, uh, so you shouldn't have issues uh, with understanding those. Okay, so now uh, we can move on to the single player uh, folder. So here we've got two versions of the tetrahedron. First one, smaller one with uh, yellow uh, faces, and then the orange one, a little bit uh, bigger with orange faces and um, now we've got the single player game mode the same story as uh, in the network version uh, but the, the pawn is the single player pawn here and uh, yeah here is the single player pawn uh, so this is uh, the core uh, the main difference uh, that it, it has tetrahedron builder component as opposed to net Tetrahedron uh, builder component as in world type player, as you can see here. Um, so, this is basically the only thing that uh, you have to pay attention to. So, whenever you make a single player game, then just add this normal version and then use uh, those functions. And um, then on network version, uh, just add this one. And then uh, if you use the functions for custom uh, custom building and destruction, they will be called differently. So whenever uh, you do it on the multiplayer game, then they are called server build and server dis destroy because those are um, synchronized. Uh, so uh, that's why they are called that way. And then here just destroy from hit result and uh, then there's build from hit result so th this is uh, the, the difference between the two um okay so now let's quickly go through the maps uh, i showed you this before but um let's quickly go through them again so this is just a simple map for networked is for testing network per networked uh projects and then here we get um the single player map and they're basically the same but just um the shape is built out of um different version of tetrahedron and then you've got the level design map uh so this is for loading saving uh was exp as explained before okay and now let's move on to materials those are very simple materials just is every single one is just a single uh, color connected to base color just so that you have some indication of difference between those different uh, tetrahedrons and then mesh um there's this example tetrahedron mesh um it also has a symbol collision as you can see here you can probably see this green outline let me just quickly click this again so now no green outline and uh if i switch this visibility it should be visible on the video um so this just means that if you ever want to simulate uh, physics then uh, this will be compatible and now the only two uh, files left are the square texture this is for the crosshair and then here you've got the widget for the displaying the crosshair on screen that covers uh, this plugin If you are using C++ in your game, feel free to check out the code and modify it according to your needs. It's worth noting that the single player code is completely disconnected from multiplayer, so you can delete the folder that you do not need to reduce bloat. Same goes with the content folders. Thanks for watching Tetrahedron Plugin Spotlight. I hope that it helped you decide if the plugin is for you and the explanations for the mechanics were clear. If you are already using the plugin, please remember that you can leave a rating and a review in Unreal Marketplace. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them under the product page in Unreal Marketplace or here in the comments.